Josh, another interesting aspect that we picked up from your YouTube talk, you were saying that you could easily identify the animals that had come from the free-range, organic, pasture-raised, you know, so-called happy farms. Can you elaborate on that a little? Yeah, so it's actually interesting because people say about the whole free-range thing and and how it's better and it's nicer. Um, But we could easily see the ones that weren't and the ones that come from a feedlot or whatnot because... The ones that come from a feedlot or even the ex-dairy cows, they were so used to enslavement by people that they didn't even sort of put up a real fight, you know. I mean, they kind of just complied to everything and everything was seems like normal. Whereas if you got like a free range or a pasture raised cow, like literally they would get off the truck and they had never felt concrete on their feet before, under their feet. It's totally a foreign thing to them. They've, you know for the whole two years of their life or 18 months of their life, they've never felt concrete. They've never, um, they've never heard the noise of shouting people. Uh, they've never been in such a confined space. They'd never been able to, uh, not access grass and eat it when they want to eat it. So they would like really be really highly stressed. And it's actually weird because if people say, Oh, well it's free range and it's all this and it's great. But, on that day that they they get transported and they die, that day is probably the most horrific day of their lives emotionally, um, and obviously physically. But emotionally, um, the suffering is you can't be quantified, and people don't think about that. Um, it's kind of like grabbing some someone out of the wild, and then throwing them into an office space and say, you know, here you go, you're a human, you should know how to do that. Um, it's totally foreign. And so, yeah, you could quite easily pick it, um, very much so, by the fact that they would freak out when they hit concrete. You know, they'd jump up and down. They've never felt it before. You know, they'd hear the steel gates close. They'd freak out. They were so much more skitterish, so much more stressed, running around, headbutting each other. They'd never been in that confined space. So a lot of them were trying to jump over the top of each other. Um, and so it was just such a more, um, yeah, more horrific and more um intense uh post death a uh, pre-death kind of experience for them happy meat though yeah <laughs> yeah yeah well that's the idea isn't it you know mm. like oh well they lived 18 months on happy grass and no one bothered them um you know that's you know that's that's great but then leading up to their death they suffered and freaked out the most more than any other animal ever and so this is the this is the weird conundrum, isn't it? Like you got animals that are factory farmed and intensively farmed to such a degree that um, you know they literally taken every liberty of them is taken away, and then they but then you've got the idea of a free range animal who lives its life right nice. They all end up dead, but on that day of death, one is feeling the sunshine for the first time, and one's feeling concrete for the first time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Kind of a weird idea, weird concept, you know. Yeah. And and we as consumers are forcing them into those situations that are foreign to both yeah. animals. And it just brings it home every time that it, irrespective of whether it's factory farm-raised animal or a free-range pasture-raised animal, ultimately they all meet the same fate at the same place and it's the act of killing itself that needs to be questioned as a society as opposed to the conditions in which they lived leading up to that day of slaughter. Exactly right, exactly right. And, I mean, it's this, uh, yeah, it's this idea that, you know, if we can we can give an animal the best life that we choose to give it uh, within the confines of what we define as a good life for them, then it's more acceptable for them to die, you know. But it's it's crazy they're both the same age they're both only you know not even two years of age um one comes from free not one comes from the from the paddock um but they both went on the same truck they both went through the same cattle race they were both shocked with the same electric potter um and at the end of the day once their hide is pulled off apart from the stamp or the barcode that says that they're one or the other they they suffered the same. It's all it's all the same. It doesn't it doesn't make any ounce of difference. Um, you know.